What's up, guys? Welcome to the Rowan YouTube channel. Rowan Through Life. Oh, yeah. The Rowan Through Life YouTube channel. That's right. First time. First time. Um, what do you want to talk about again? How do you want to intro it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start over. Ready? Okay, we're ready. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Rowan Through Life YouTube channel. He's Paris. <laughs> And I'm Nicole. And this is my lovely wife, Nicole. We just put our kids down to bed. So as you can imagine, if you have children, you're a little exhausted by that point. It's like the war zone, people. It's like you're going to battle. We'll talk about that another time. We'll do a special edition okay. for you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so we wanted to share. Yeah, we wanted to share. Basically, this is kind of like our intro video. So we want to share what... What is RV life like with a family of six? <laughs> no. Why did you decide to do this? That's not what we're doing. Why are you living in 250 on. square feet? No, this with six video. People in it? No, this mm. video is why we moved into 250 square feet. What did I just say? You just had a lot of other things that you were saying. Okay, but so why we why we did? That's how we start. Why we did it? So people want to know people of the world you guys want to know why did we do why that in the world why would we do why that why did we do that <laughs> why did we do that <laughs> okay so it actually started like a year prior to us purchasing an rv i had had a friend who moved from southern california up to uh, Northern California and she moved her and her family in a Airstream yep. and I remember talking to her on the phone and She was telling me all about having you know her family in her Airstream Her kids are a little bit a lot of bit older than a my kids bit, yeah, yeah. Um, And yeah. you know, I just really admired her and who she mm -hmm. was as a mama and um, I remember just like being so impressed with her ability to live and raise her kids in her RV, but I got impressive. off super impressive, like gold star. gold star. I got off the phone with her and I thought that's so cool, but there's no way I could do that. We were living in 2,800 square feet, five bedroom with all of our babies at that time, three. And I just thought there's no way I would go from 2,800 square feet to 250 or less. Like there's just, no. So I didn't think about it for like a year. And then through, you know, just a series of events, a lot of events that you all don't want to hear about because they're boring and not super fun. But through the series of events, um, we decided we wanted to go on a trip. And so I had began uh, planning, uh, doing some ministry across the U.S. with some friends, um, just people that I knew doing ministry in other states. We thought maybe we'll go for what two months or something. Yeah. And um, then we live in Southern California, and when COVID hit, the state shut down at some time. Um, and so no I mean, parks. Yeah, we have three no kids, parks for the kids, and I was very pregnant. You can't mm. shut down. <laughs> you can't. It was crazy. So. We thought about renting an RV. We were totally going to rent from a family whom we didn't know. Um, and then they kind of bailed last minute. And that led us down the line of maybe we purchase an RV. And that's actually his idea, to which I said, heck no, we're not purchasing an RV. Yeah. I was I was still pregnant. When we or first when we first started talking about it, we were, you were still pregnant. I was yeah, super pregnant. True. And, <clears throat> oh my gosh, the idea of living in an RV, like... And that was hard because we kind of said, like, we didn't feel like we could be really mobile until you had Maybe. Revington. So that was kind of like a landmark that we were waiting to occur to see how it would go. So there's a lot of things up in the air. We had friends who had RVs that we were looking to borrow or fifth wheels, but then we would have to buy a truck. And then we were waiting, is okay. baby going to be born? When is he going to be born? What's it going to be like with four? Because we don't know. So there's a lot of things. So anyways, to fast forward a bit, um, we were super disappointed that the same lady we were going to rent an RV from kind of bailed last minute. We're like, God, what are you doing? Yeah. If this is your first time getting to know us, we um, are believers. And um, we were just like, what is God doing? This is so crazy. Um, and we just felt like, just be patient. Something's coming. And then this guy had the idea 
to purchase an RV, which felt impossible. Um, but we looked at a few, we went to a couple lots, tried to figure out what we wanted, what would work best mm -hmm. for our family. And we landed on a class C RV did? Um, that we got at a killer price for the time that we were buying. Yep. Um, and then we decided to do a complete remodel. So, oh, that was really exhausting. And we did it for like three weeks straight with a newborn. With a newborn. Now, really quick, you know, just quick education. So there's class A, class B, and class C. We were always drawn to class C. I think one reason was because growing up, my family and I did a couple trips in an RV, and I the class Cs always have the overhang right over the cab, you know? And so it was always fun to, like, be up there and play. And so I always yeah. thought that that overhang would be cool for our kids. Well, and we had borrowed um, mm -hmm. a fifth wheel. Travel trailer. A travel trailer, and our kids hated it. And I was like, this feels suffocating. I can't do this. Um, and the sleep area for our kids just didn't work. But the area over top of the driver and passenger seat in a class C is huge. And it doesn't feel like a coffin. Um, and they actually have three kids sleep up there. It's pretty impressive. It is. And they still have space. Sometimes mm -hmm. he goes up there. Sometimes I sleep up there. <laughs> but anyway, we um, renovated this bad boy in three weeks, which I don't suggest for anyone to do. It was exhausting. We didn't know what we were doing. We were exhausted because A, we weren't sleeping, and B, uh, we had four kids. Um, and then once we renovated it to the best of our abilities at that time, we'll show you guys pictures. Then we hit the road and we have been gone for six months essentially um, and plan to keep going for, well, that's one of the questions we get. Yeah. How for long? How long? We do not know. We don't know. How long? We don't know. <laughs> one of the other questions we get is, um, how do you do it with so many kids? Yeah. Uh, it's the grace by of God. the grace of God, we do it. There's grace yeah. for the season. Honestly, there is, a, there's a lot that you learn. So as you go, so you learn that, you know, you pick the right toys and you have lots of grace and you have to get creative. The kids have already learned three new card games. Um, <laughs> You know, you play music, you have dance parties, if it's at all possible or safe. We do have dance parties. It's true. So there's, I mean, there's definitely not as many options as a house, you know, that's for sure. But there's still a lot of other things to look out at the window. Wait a second. Let's, let's think about that. There are as many options <clears throat> as a house, right? There's just not as much space. There's not as much space. So that's you can't true. like go hide point. from your kids. You know how like moms hide in the bathroom or the pantry? <clears throat> can't do that in can't an RV. No. It's fine. It's bringing us closer. Uh, that's true. Together. So that's a lot true. of people ask why. Why did you move into an RV? Um, we just felt like the Lord wanted us to for a season as we traveled and did ministry across the U.S. We wanted to be able to see the U.S., especially during a time where the world was kind of shut down. It worked out in our benefit. Um, yeah. We could be mobile and I uh, really just wanted to sow seeds into the U.S. and meet with people along the way. Yeah. I think there was an element that was reactive and an element that was proactive. Really? Yeah. What do you in, mean? In a sense that, like, reactive for California. Like, get the, the, me the, out of here. Yeah, I, I mean, that was probably mm, mm, yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, it, the, you know, part of the reactive was, you know, like I said, that a lot get of the parks of were here. closed. Things that we would normally do with the kids, you know, weren't available like we like trampoline parks, you know, the kid, or I should say the kids, the kids like it just fun stuff like that wasn't, wasn't available. And so at the same time, we're like, you know what, at this stage in our life, um, why not? right now, yeah, it was kind of like, why not? Yeah, you got it. Let's, let's make it happen. Let's do it. Let's take the chance. Um, and so we did. And, uh, I will not lie to you. Don't because lie. that would be wrong. He doesn't really but lie. But it definitely comes with its own set of challenges. No. Um, it's it is not the fact that it is easy. It's the fact that it's worth it. Doable. Yes. Able. That you are making memories. Okay. That join us. I feel like this is an activity that a lot of people desire to do for their families, but it's always hard to just like pull the actual trigger and do it. Um, and so that's what we did. 
So we're so thankful. We're here, it's been so fun. Yeah, we're out here making memories. And you know what, guys? It's not always glamorous. Oh, no, it is. It's not. It's not always glamorous. Okay, let's not talk about... He it's real. It's about, about real and raw. Like, oh, no, I wasn't even talking about poop. Oh, really? I mean, you will have to dump poop out okay, of your Okay, let's RV. not talk about it right now. You know, <clears throat> your own Anyways, kids. <laughs> welcome to our channel, Rowing Through Life YouTube. Show more cute Christmas tree. Here, scoot over here. This is, this is what you have to do when you live in an RV and you can't really... Okay, so really quick, two things to note. One, um, when you move into an RV, you have to think about like how to decorate, right? Like you can't just put like plant potters and like this. things all over the floor because mm -hmm. that's what you see when you Pinterest or like you look for, you know, RV renos. You see like all this cute stuff. But when you're traveling, which we've been traveling a ton like every few days yeah. um you More can't you can't do that so our christmas tree this year is a felt christmas tree we love it Which our was kids cool. love it it was a great Super idea cool. <laughs> but when we were decorating it normally we have like this big hot cocoa and christmas socks and christmas music and decorate the tree mm. we had all last, those things well it lasts like two hours but oh. this year it lasted like 15 minutes i think that worked to our advantage given the, With the age kids. range yeah. so anyways lots of cool. um creativity that comes along with living in an RV. But welcome to our page. We plan to share with you about RV living, share with you our hearts, just who we are outside of RV living, which is Nicole and Paris, mm -hmm. ministers of the gospel, yes. fitness extraordinary. Look, people want it real yeah. and raw. And real and raw. Real and go. raw. They want the day in and out. We're going to give it to you. Oh, we're going to give it to you. We're going right. to give it to you. We're going to show you all the things. So that's right. come along our journey. The poop. Screaming, the Why fun. Does it doesn't always have to be poop. It doesn't always have to be poop, but just, it's in there. Just hey, but there's glamour. There's there's glam. Too. And you're gonna get a lot of this, you know. A lot so, of what? You just chit chat. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Talk soon. <laughs>